What is good YouTube, JB here, and Respect Gain is finally back. This is going to be episode 4 of my Respect Gain play review series for FIFA 13 Ultimate Team. In this episode, we are reviewing Lacina Traore. And this player has actually been considered as the new drug by no Matt HD Gamer reviewed him and as soon as he called him the new drug by I knew I had to try him out for myself and right there you did see the in game stats and right here you do see a pretty long shot that I shot with him there and out of his in game stats the main things you needed to focus on were that he's 6'8 so he, that's why he looks all big and loppy right there on the screen he's 6'8 he has some great heading stats real good shot power as you can see right here on this shot and he had uh what was it a uh, really good strength that was his last uh really really high trait it was i think it was 90 95 plus strength and right here you see another good shot he also does have four star weak foot so keep that in mind and so i never actually used this player in fifa 12 but since he is compared to drogba i thought i'd try him out and i was one of those guys who really enjoyed using drogba last year even though they ruined his pace but you do see that for some weird reason, Triori does have a really good accurate shot. And the accuracy only works on his regular shot. It won't. His finesse isn't as accurate. You'll see this was one of the few finesse shots I was able to make with him. And so the, it's really weird, but he's very accurate with shooting regular shots. And he can shoot them all around um, pretty much the box, not from too, off, too far out. He's... Definitely has good positioning as you see right there. He can come in for ground crosses and he's his, he's a monster at heading. He's definitely better than Drogba at heading. But that's probably just about it. And the reason he's better, he's 6'8", he's a target man. And he, he just has high heading stats as it is. He's good at poaching goal, goals as well too. Guys, he can't dribble that well. Definitely he is nothing like Drogba in that aspect. He, his skill moves aren't that good. His dribbling's not that good. He does have good control on the ball, though, on his first touch. But other than that, he does put the ball out in front of him. He's he's pretty much a similar pace to as Drogba was. But Drogba overall could just shoot so much better. And, you, and that's obvious because he's, Drogba is such a high-class player. But other than that, this review is wrapping up. So uh, let me know if you guys have tried this player. If you guys do plan on trying him, I do have a couple more episodes ready to go in this series. Let me know down in the comment section below anyone you guys would like me to review. And as always guys, take care. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and peace.